Well, what is going on, YouTube? We're back. YouTube play of the day. We got two spots today. It is like 6.30 in the morning um, here. Um, got some early stuff today. Got to get some work in. Got to get just, you, you know what it is. You know we're so busy, uh, even when the weekend comes around. So uh, excited to get after it today. Um, pretty good slate across the board, honestly. Um, I, I'm really liking what we're seeing here. And uh, I'm hoping we can continue to put out some winners today. Okay, so I'm um, going to be a little quicker video today just because obviously I am at 630 and I'm trying to get through this quickly um, so I can get on with the rest of the day. Um, two spots, both of them involving my brewers. First one is going to be um, Gavin Stone, no win, Freddy Peralta, 6Ks, minus 102. It's going to be play number one. Play number two. I'm just going to show you both because they're on separate tabs. Morton under six and a half Ks. No win for Casey minus. Mize minus 110. Let's get it started. So let's start out with Gavin Stone. Um, I think this is a ridiculous price. Um, I talk about it all the time how good Nestor Cortez is at home. And I get it, the Dodgers are very good against lefties, but what have they done for me lately? Right? That's, this is a what have you done for me lately league. This team hasn't been able to hit the ball. They have not hit the ball well. Um, I understand I'm not a huge Nestor fan, but the numbers at home, I mean, it's tough to – it's tough for me to to not see those numbers, man. This dude has been completely lights out. It's, it's four runs different um, on there. So it's like, wow, this dude's ERA is – is crazy the batting average allowed uh, significantly lower um, at home on those starts i'm also checking yesterday's game because we saw a a pretty big bullpen game yesterday seeing as it was a two to one baseball game and uh we saw all these guys come in and um come through in these spots we got what banda trying in hudson grove ramirez all those dudes through yesterday, I understand that they have a young guy here in Gavin Stone who's good. Don't don't get me wrong. He's a good pitcher, but this is a tough spot, man. This is going into the Yankee Stadium, a young guy. Cortez obviously lights out at home, like I just mentioned. Um, for just details on those numbers, he has a 1.12 ERA at home, 170 batting average allowed, um, an XFIP at home. Or a fit at home of 2.17.45 K or home runs per nine, 27% K rate. Um, pretty absurd, guys. Like, this guy has been that good at home. So, I think that's a good spot for him. Freddie Peralta on the road in Detroit. Detroit against right handed pitching so far this year at home. Um, they are the eighth highest strikeout rate, 24%. They're also repping uh, a healthy 97 WRC plus. Um, it really doesn't matter where Peralta is. The dude's going to strike out 30% of dudes. Um, 30%, 34, 30.4, 30 percent K rate. Um, only issue on the road is that he walks guys a little bit more than usual. Um, luckily for us, Detroit, um, doesn't really do that much. <laughs> um, they have like a 9% walk rate middle of the pack, um, as a team in the MLB. Um, I just think Freddie Peralta should be able to mow these guys down. Like I said, Dude just missing bats at a crazy rate right now. The Brewers are hot. You want to say you want to be on that side of the of the wagon right now, and, and, and they're looking very very good. Um, three point two three x fit on the road as well. It's 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 been pretty crazy, guys. Thirty two percent K rate over his uh, over the um, this season, but in the month of June right now, he's got a thirty five percent K rate, and that's with a fifty five percent left on base percentage. So he's got a thirty percent K minus BB. Um, in his first start so of the month. I'm um, looking forward to Baggy Peralta again and uh, cash another ticket with our boy. Um, heading over to play number two, Mize no win, obviously, in that Brewer game. The Brewers, WRC Plus against right-handed pitching, top three in the MLB. Um, they smoked Reese Olsen on a lot of – I understand a lot of those were just bad to death, but obviously you still have to do it, you know. So I, I think the Brewers can score on Mize pretty easily. Um and obviously it's baseball, so anything can happen. But um, I want to be on the Brewers' side right now when like six guys on the team are hot right now. 
Charlie Morton going to be doing most of the heavy lifting of this one. He's heading to Washington to take on the Washington Nationals. Um, same exact thing, Washington at home versus righties, 21% K rate. Um, that is very good, right? That is um, ranking them 17th, um, 17th in the MLB. Um, 94 WRC plus, obviously, they're, they're not the best team in the world. But Morton, I just don't think that he's this high of a strikeout rate guy with how much his walks are, man. He's got a 13% walk rate to lefties this year, guys. Like that, that is ridiculous. That is a very high number. 13% walk rate to lefties. There's going to be like six lefties, seven lefties here. Uh, he's got a 25% K rate against lefties. Uh, XFIP, four and a half. Um, what I do like here a little bit is just the ability for him to kind of implode. Um, we saw it in his last start. The dude had 21% walk rate in his last start. Like, I'm not even kidding. That is an actual number that he threw. He had a 21% walk rate in his last start. I don't think they're going to let his leash go that long here in this spot. They just lost last night, so you need to get a win, dude. You can't be losing to these guys. He has an 11% walk rate on the year so far this year. Um, obviously, his breaking ball is good. Um, it's always been good. But he's throwing it at like a 40% clip right now because his four-seamer is getting absolutely nuked um, to a 309 batting average. And a 588 slugging. Like, that is awful. That's 70% of the arsenal. Use the changeup a little bit. That one has a 490 slugging. Use the cutter, 10%. That has a 681 expected slugging, 357 batting average. Like, I'm telling you right now, if, if we can get um, through this first two innings, we can get through those first two innings with under 2Ks or 2Ks, I'm going to be very happy with this. Because uh, CJ Abrams has just been a strikeout machine lately. Um, and so has Lane Thomas. So if we can get through those with uh, first six batters, two or less Ks, I'd be very happy because I think Morton's going to start kind of unraveling a little bit there, um, especially when you see that he, he's really, like, struggled in the strikeout department after that first time through the order. 30% K rate first time through the order, and then it goes on to 21%. Um, and then if he does get third time through, he has a he has a – uh, or second time through, it is 13% walk rate second time through. Third time through, hasn't had a ton of experience on the third time through this year, uh, but 22% K rate in those spots um, and giving up over a home run per nine in those um, time through the order there. So I like the Nationals put the ball in play here. Um, I think we can see an unraveling of Morton in pretty much any inning. So just bear with me through the first time through the order because he's going to roll. Them. It's just going to depend. Can these guys continue to put the ball in play in those spots? Excuse me. Charlie Morton, under six and a half Ks. Casey Mize, no win. Going along with Freddie Peralta, six Ks. Gavin Stone, no win. Minus 102. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Sorry, it's a little quicker video than usual. Um, but got to get things done today. And uh, we're rolling. So thank you guys. Best of luck today. And I'll see you on Monday.